Good morning, Chin Panthers. I'm Emily from Miss Walter's class, and joining me today is Josie, also from Miss Walter's class. Today is April 22nd, and it is the B Day. Our lunch choices for today are hot dog or hamburger on the grill or peanut butter and jelly. Here are a few chin notes you need to know. Today is the outdoor picnic. And we had 119 students that were at the Mercury Gymnastic last night or on Friday night. Go Chin Panthers. This week, on Wednesday, April 24th, it is the 7th Annual Mother's Son Field Day. Hope to see you there. Hey, Chin Panthers, are you wondering what to do with the, all the purple paws you're getting from your teachers during testing? No need to wonder anymore, because here is what you do with them. All purple paws are to be spent on items from the purple menu sheet only. Does that mean you can use blue or red paws to buy something on the purple sheet? No, because they aren't purple. Purple paws can only be spent on purple sheets. There are some neat items to choose from, like wearing Mr. H's tie or playing a game with a mystery staff member, or even putting your name in a raffle for a cool basket. How fun would those things be? Keep rocking the test and earning those purple paws. Park Hill High School Summer Sports Camp Enrollment Form. Pick it up in the office. We Deliver is back. Student Council will be selling We Deliver letters on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. This, this week is the last week to get your letters. The cost of each letter is one cent. Buy some letters and let's get writing. And now for a Monday Minute announcement. This is a report of a guy who wakes up at 3 o'clock in the morning just to ask about people's lives. His name is... Mima. Shandra! Hi, Mima. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Um, I'm going to ask you some questions. So, you're a reporter for KCTV5? I am. Oh, that's cool. Um, why did you want to become a reporter? Uh, you know... I was originally pre-med, and then I decided that, you know, I wasn't smart enough to do that, so um, I decided to go and to take one communications class, which is, that's what they're called on the college level, and um, I loved it. And then I took another class, which was interviewing and psychology, and uh, fell in love with that. So uh, it was basically like a love at first sight kind of thing. Was it easy or hard doing this? Um, you know, it was hard at first. Uh, it was even harder when it came to the ethics portion, but um, ethics becomes a daily part of your life, the way, you know, laws work and the way you have to behave. So um, it became an easy thing to do, and it's easy now. Oh, that's really cool. Um, what do you suggest to the other students to become a reporter? You know, they have to keep up on current events. Uh, current events, keeping up on those, they have to do the right thing every day. If they don't do the right thing every day, and doing the right thing is not only um, building character and integrity, but it's also building credibility. And you, when you do the right thing when no one's watching, it's what makes you a credible individual. Um, I would caution them to, you know, begin looking into it now. Go shadow one of your favorite TV people. Um, go to a TV station, watch a live newscast, um, see what it would take for you to go do a ride-along. Sometimes they offer those, sometimes they don't. But at this point, that would be the best start before they get into high school and college. Oh, uh, that's cool. Um, what is your favorite part of your job? There, it's never the same thing every day. There's always something new. And, you know, we get to do things that most other people either dream about or most other people uh, fear doing. And we get to do it on a daily basis. And the opportunities that come to us um, are often uh, endless. So it's there's um, there's advantages everywhere you look. Uh, that's really cool. If you weren't a news reporter, what would you rather be? A pediatric oncologist. And why? To help little kids and to see them through their last days or to help heal them of the cancer because I'm not a big fan of cancer, um, but to, to heal kids and to know that they'll be okay. What was, your, what was the coolest moment in your career? There's two. One is seeing Michelle Obama because I think she's beautiful. She's hot. So seeing, 
Michelle Obama and also um, interviewing Warren Buffett twice. He's the world's richest man. He's a person that so many people, so many kids in your class, their parents may look up to him for his financial wisdom. And to be in the same room as him, three feet away from him, shaking his hand, um, pretty awe-inspiring. Wow, that's really cool. I wish I got to do that. Thanks for coming to my interview. This is Nima and Kieran from Monday Minute, and it's a great day to be a Chin Panther. Grr. We don't have a watchdog in the building today. Let's celebrate some birthdays. Lily Hansen, Mia Hamilton, and Lucas Mann. Happy birthday! Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and Chin, and chin PBS cheer led by some students. Saying bye is Emily and Josie. Have all ears for tomorrow for more Chin News. It's, it's a great day to be a Chin Panther. Grr!